ready? Hi there, Donna with Photonic Health. This is our episode of Health Made Simple. And today we're actually at the Belgian Malinois show here in Ocala, Florida. And I love doing these shows because we always get to meet so many cool, interesting, innovative people. And Brian Dickerson is my special guest today. And we're going to be talking about CBD, hemp, and all of those things. Um, and his company is called Doctors Hemp Solutions. So welcome, Brian. Thank you. Glad to have you. Um, Brian, what, like, how long have you been in the business? In the business as a lawyer representing hemp companies since 2014. We opened our own hemp business in 2019, right after the, the farm bill made it legal in December of 2018. Awesome. So you're an attorney by trade. You didn't you didn't start in this world as hey, I need to get into a supplement business. No, I've been representing supplement companies and pharmaceutical companies and pharmacies. I've been a lawyer for 25 years, and 2014 uh, started representing supplemental companies who were using and making CBD products. Awesome. Excellent. I love that. And what made you decide to get into, because I know that your line includes dogs and horses. What made you decide to get into that particular branch? We branch into horses based upon me having a ranch, having our own horses, and they were actually the best test subjects to start seeing how the product would work, the, the dosage and aspects like that. And the other aspect was the, the equine world. Uh, Florida is over $4 billion. Uh, if you look nationally, Texas, it's $6 billion just in the horse world. 75% of horse owners own a dog. And I jokingly say 90% of horse owners get hurt. So it was a <laughs> easy flow. Easy flow. That's awesome. I love that. Um, I've seen some of your pictures and I, we've been chatting throughout the weekend. And so I know that you and your partner like rescue a lot of animals and you get a lot of animals that are dumped off at your property. What has been like the biggest case that like, when I say biggest, like most dramatic change that you've seen, like either in a horse or a dog? We've had, we had a horse that had his shoulder shattered, split open. And after using, the, the vet at the time was using medication after medication, the horse didn't want to eat um, and was just given up. And at that point in time, we then began using the hemp-based product, CBDA, uh, quadruple dosing that so we could actually get his stomach back in shape to eat. Um, we weaned him off of banamine and we used natural hemp products. Um, from the oils for the wound to the inside, helping heal the stomach. And from May 15th until September 2nd, um, a wound that was 12 inches long, 8 inches wide, healed up completely. Um, and the horse put his weight back on and he was back to normal. That's awesome. I love that. Now, you said something um, that I haven't heard before. CBDA. CB, CBDA is the acidic form of CBD. Okay. So each cannabinoid, which CBD is a cannabinoid, has an acidic form. That acidic form then converts into that cannabinoid by heat. So CBDA is that natural form in the plant. So our product um, for the CBDA is not an oil. It is the actual hemp plant um, milled in an industrial knife mill, pharmaceutical grade mill, into a fine powder and then it's either pelletized or made in another form, but that's what the body absorbs the best in horses and dogs through studies from Cornell University and other universities. Awesome. I'm not, I know that CBD is all over the place and hemp products are all over the place. And so what makes your products different than other products out there that are available for horses and dogs? So our CBDA, what makes that better is just the it's the natural plant. There's a lot of products out there for horses and dogs, and it's the oil. I mean, how many times do you actually have a dog eat oil? It's not naturally, but they eat the plant that is natural. So I think that's the distinguishing fact with the CBDA. 
Um, our other product is hemp flavin, which is the flavonoids. Uh, the flavonoids are the gut of the plant, and that's what really is, when you hear the old stories of the hemp plant helping people, it's that old school plant. The plants we use are European plants that are over 2,000 year old tracking in seeds, wow. and the flavonoids um, have up to 30 times stronger uh, potency as far as anti-inflammation from the studies from Dr. Barrett going all the way back to 1985. Wow, that's that's amazing, like to be able to have that. So like equivalency, like one dog treat would be the equivalent. You'd have to give what, four dog treats of maybe another brand in order to get the same effectiveness or more. With the hemp flavin, yes. With that. So yeah. it's just a lot more I would say affordable from that perspective. It's affordable and it's more natural because it's not going to upset the stomach. Like, right. Like an NSAID, uh, uh, Rumidol or Banamine for a horse or NSAID, Ibuprofen for a human. Right, exactly. So a lot of people don't understand, I don't want to say understand, a lot of people, like the easiest thing we've been trained, right, as Americans is take an NSAID, take an aspirin, take an ibuprofen and call it good and we and we don't really realize what's going on and what it's doing to our our guts and especially on our dogs and our horses because horses stomachs are so incredibly sensitive correct so um, can you just chat a little bit about more on how it impacts the horse's gut health so the the flavonoids and the hemp flavin the thing with the horse is it's absorbed by the tongue. So it's a water soluble. So you put it on the tongue, it's going to be absorbed by the tongue, and then a little bit will go down through the esophagus and digest. If you want it to help the stomach out, you're just putting it right down the throat. The, the natural hemp flavin, that will just do what it's supposed to do, and that is be anti inflammatory and doesn't have to be digested. Whereas when you look at um, a banamine, and said it's going to the stomach, the stomach's digesting it before it then actually takes it to the brain. Got it. That's super cool. You have um, at your booth this flavonoid guide. Yes. I did not realize that there were so many components to, to this is hemp, right? Or CBD? That's that's hemp. That's, this that's, is hemp. That is the, the hemp flavin. Those are the flavonoids and the hemp plants that we extract, the old heirloom hemp plants that's just absolutely the one that interested me um, that caught my attention was the quercetin mm -hmm. because we know you know if, if you're a supplement person you know we're taught we're told to take quercetin for a whole bunch of things I did not realize that it occurs naturally in hemp and the hemp plant yes. is that correct that's correct not every hemp plant. Not every hemp plant. And that's plant. the thing, the, the majority of the American hemp plants have been genetically modified, created to be a higher cannabinoid content. Okay. So the current American type of hemp plant is gonna have very minimal of those flavonoids in it. So it's finding the seeds and finding those old school heirloom seeds that have the heirloom hemp plant that actually have a, an amount of Orientin, quercetin, uh, canaflavin that you can extract. Got it. So what's the cannabinoids versus flavonoids? So canna cannabinoids are in the flower. Okay. So the top of the plant where you see the actual flower and the trichome. The flavonoids are in the gut of the plant. The gut of the plant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very cool. So if I have a dog, like, so how would a dog person use this, your products? Like, what do, what do you see mostly? So there's internal and external. Okay. So if there's an internal um, skin issue, we have the hemp flavin spray that like on that chart has the anti-parasitic, anti-inflammatory that helps the outside skin. If it is an issue from inside, whether it's an allergy from internal allergy or inflammation, then the hemp flavin works. We have hemp flavin specifically for dogs that you drop under the tongue. They actually love the taste and it goes right to the brain barrier really quick and you're gonna see results. And then we have the actual CBDA powder, which is what you put on the food. It's the natural CBDA from the plant. And you see the combination of all those three things working together. Very cool. So, um, 
you haven't touched on cats. I'm a cat person too. We have feline. You have feline. So we have the hemp flab feline, and I'll be quite honest, we were never intending to, to go into the cat world. Right. And what happened is we had vets who came up to us and said, all right, this is working great on the dogs, the hemp flavin. There's really nothing we can give to cats. We don't have anything in our arsenal to help with the cats. And so we formulated the feline version of hemp flavin for a dosage. So it ends up being basically 550 micrograms, where the dog is 100 micrograms oh, wow. of hemp flavin. Wow. And for the specific purpose of helping out the cats. Helping out the cats. Mm -hmm. So like, what about cats? You know, cats, I've got three. Um, and they have, two of mine have incredibly sensitive stomachs. So a, the one has been diagnosed with food allergies. And so of course we've changed her food, but that's sort of a moving target as right. well, because as um, food companies change their formulas and they're not required to tell you that they've changed their formulas, like with this, with this be something that I could help her like heal her gut? It, it will give gut health because it's going to have the anti-inflammatory properties that's going to help reduce the inflammation in the stomach. You have the antimicrobial, antibacteria that's also going to help just gut health. Gut health. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that, when you say, let's, let's talk about antibacterial mm -hmm. because there's not many natural plants that are antibacterial um one of my favorites is olive leaf mm -hmm. olive leaf has natural antibacterial properties but i mean it's more in a capsule form and it's kind of hard to give to a dog or a horse or even a cat so can you talk more about that so the flavonoids there are two flavonoids specifically on the chart and we can make the chart available that actually show that would be that wonderful. antimicrobial antibacterial um, and we have studies on our website from each one of these flavonoids that have been completed. And as far as taking the, the antimicrobial, antibacterial a little step further, um, Dr. David Nash just completed a study on cattle. Okay. 60 cattle using, and intentionally giving them various worms and eggs of those worms in their stomach. Um, and then gave 20 of the cattle a safeguard gave 20 of the cattle our hemp flavin, and then 20 of the cattle were supposed to be natural. Right, um, control group. Correct, 14 days later, the natural uh, control group, 12% of the eggs had been killed. With the safeguard, 88% had been killed. And with the hemp flavin, 93% had been 93%. killed. 93%, yes. that's awesome. And the beauty of that is you didn't put a whole bunch of toxins and extra chemicals into the animal and so we're talking about cows here so from a from a consumer perspective yes. like that translate hugely because that those chemicals aren't getting transferred into not being absorbed in the body so like safeguard for example it, depending upon which product you're using you're looking at 10 to 14 days of once you give that product to the cattle, it can't go to the beef market, it can't be sold because it has the chemicals in it. Right. With ours, it's not chemicals. It's right. It's natural plant. Right. I, I want to buy, I want to buy beef from the <laughs> farmer that's using that. <laughs> I mean, that's incredible. That's incredible. Super cool. Brian, what is, if my people would like more information on your products, where is the best way to get a hold or to find you? Uh, on the website is www.doctorshempsolutions.com and there's the sub page, that's caninehempsolutions.com and equinehempsolutions.com, but they all go to the same website. And then if you go to the resources page on our website, we have all the articles on the flavonoids all the scientific articles that have been there and the flavonoid guide that breaks down each flavonoid. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you so much. This has just been absolutely amazing. And I'm sure that my people love education. They love learning new things and they certainly love all natural holistic solutions. So I'm sure that some of them will be heading over to your website and they'll probably be asking you some questions. So thank you. That'd be great. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely.